Okay, I'm going to show you how to remove noise from an image in Photoshop um, without increasing the noise. This is an image I shot at the Cat House in uh, Glasgow. Obviously it was incredibly dark in there, you can see a lot of noise in this image here. Too much noise kind of makes things go blurry, it makes them look soft, especially in the in the flesh and the face tones here. Uh, you can see my camera settings top left, I had to lower my shutter speed to 140, which obviously is why we have the blurring around the hands here through the movement. Um, the lens is wide open 2.8 and the ISO was all the way up to 2000 which is why we have all of the noise. So let's get this in Photoshop. Here is the image in Photoshop. Uh, let's have a quick zoom in. There we go. So we can still see all the noise here. All this just lost detail really. Um, so first thing we're going to do um, we're going to click on fill. Uh, sorry, no, we're not. We're going to create a new layer. Then we're going to click on filter, other, high pass. Now, you want to set your high pass filter for anything from around about three up to about five. For this image, I want to bring out a lot more of this detail. Uh, you can see all the areas where it's going to actually bring the detail out. So I'm happy with five. We'll leave that in five. Then I'm going to desaturate the image because we don't have any colour in there. So all I did there was press Control U. I presume it's Apple U on a Mac. Or you can go Image uh, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, and then set your saturation to, zero, to minus 100 there. Great, so we have our two layers down here. The original image and this high pass filter. Uh, next thing we're going to do is go to Filter, Noise, Reduce Noise. We don't want to make any of this background noise, we don't want any of this in the image, we just want the actual image itself. So, can you see all these little dots here? The setting I've got here is strength 100, preserve to 0, reduce color noise 100%, it shouldn't really matter because it's a black and white image. So, you can see the original there when I move the mouse, you've got all of this um, noise, basically ISO noise. They've grown, that's gone. Yeah, so I'm keeping these sharp edges here, so that's good. We click OK. You might find, if it doesn't remove all the noise in your image, that you need to do this section again. Um, so if you do, just press Ctrl F or Apple F to repeat this filter noise. It'll just run the same filter again on the image. I'm quite happy with this though. There's a little bit of noise in here. Let's try it again. Let's do reduce noise again. See if we get through this extra noise from these darker areas. Because ideally we could not leave all of that ISO noise behind and just have these sharp sections here, like along his arm, around this light, things like this. So there you go, it's got rid of that extra noise in the top corner there, while keeping all of these high areas. So the next thing we want to do is sharpen this image. So if we go to Filter, sh Sharpen, um, Smart Sharpen, and here I have my sentence to 100, Radius 5.1, and you can see the original image there, and then when I leave go, it shows you the sharpened image, so that's great. It's getting a lot more detail in the guitar, in his chest, in his face and eyes. That's all great, so we just do OK for that. And then we're done, really. We're just going to change the, um, the blending mode to linear light. So now you can see this is way too sharp. If we look up here, we can see all of the detail it's brought in. Uh, let me switch that off. So you've got the original and the sharpness, original sharpness. So this is too high at the moment, so we're going to drop this layer opacity down to about 60. See what that looks like? Off and on, off and on. I look at so much more detail it's brought in here. Strings. It's still a little bit too high for me, so I'll probably just drop this down to 40. See what that looks like? Yeah, that's a lot better. Great. So there's our finished image. You can see all the extra detail we're bringing in here from the switched off version. This is the original image, quite soft. Look at the guitar strings here, his shirt, his face, and this, um, no idea what it is, but this blue thing in the background next to this mic stand. Um, if I switch the new layer back on, you can see how much sharper they all become. Off, on, off, and on again. So there you go, easy way to sharpen your 
high SO images without adding lots of extra noise.